Hello everyone, welcome again to another TestLodge tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the software testing lifecycle and how TestLodge maps very well to the different phases of software test testing lifecycle and how we can utilize the features of TestLodge and map those according to the lifecycle and use the features accordingly. So in the last tutorial, we have already seen that uh, you can, you know, create the requirements in uh, test lodge and then you have the facility to, you know, um, test plan, test runs, etc. So now let's go back to the software testing lifecycle. So this is the, you know, diagram that I've got from uh, wikimedia.org. And if you see with this particular diagram, there are different phases in the software testing lifecycle. So the first phase is around the requirement analysis phase, wherein you get the requirement in form of user stories if you are working in an agile development approach um, or methodologies like scrum and kanban or you will be getting the requirements in the form of requirements document so if it is a waterfall or v development model now in the requirement analysis phase you will be analyzing the requirement then you will be moving to the test planning phase design um, then you have the environment test environment setup and execution. So uh, once you design the test cases, you will execute those test cases. And finally, you report or perform the closure activities of the testing lifecycle. Now, this lifecycle is still same. It doesn't matter whether you are working in the agile development approach or you are working in the previous, you know, like traditional approaches like uh, waterfall or V model these phases are still same so they still say hold true uh, even if you are working in scrum and kanban because you will be following similar approaches to uh, go through and work or deliver the software testing uh, within the software development life cycle now if i go through these phases and go to the test lodge so here you can see that on the test lodge let me open a project so this is the project that i created previously and this is very well aligned to the software testing lifecycle. So this tool, if you see uh, here, I have the overview. So this gives the overview of the overall project activity. But if we go to the you know phases of the uh, software testing lifecycle, I have the requirement analysis phase, right? So test lodge maps that with the requirements. So in the requirement analysis phase, you have the requirement and then you start analyzing those requirements right so in test lodge you can have your requirements stored here in the requirements module or uh, you know and and basically analyze those requirements within this particular tool so i'll have some sample requirements which i'll add today and then we'll work through those requirements when we start writing our test cases test plan etc around those requirements so this requirements module maps to the requirement phase of the stlc then you have the test planning phase right now if you go back to the test uh, test lodge you have the test plans module as well wherein you can create the test plan right so if i go to the test plan there are no test plans at the moment but i can create a new plan and test lodge provides various templates to that you can use so there is a predefined template that you can use or you can create a blank test plan. We'll go through the test plan in detail as well. Then you have the design phase, which is nothing but basically, you know, you apply different techniques and you start writing your test cases. Now, once you have your test plan, you have the test cases and test cases are basically, uh, you know, segregated as uh, either as part of the, uh, you know, user stories or they are categorized into different suites so test suite is the module which in which you create different test suites so test suite is something you categorize similar test cases in one suite so for example uh, database related related test cases can be categorized into database test cases ui test cases can be categorized into ui test suite right so you create the high level module for categorizing your test cases or the folder structure and that's where test suites come in picture and once you create test suite within those test suite we can create the test cases which is basically nothing but the test design phase of the software testing life cycle right then test environment setup phase is nothing but it's the actual physical setup of the environment test environment 
so this can be combined together with the execution phase so execution phase um, prior to doing the test execution you have to set up the test environment and mostly uh, in most of the organizations testing team do the environment setup if they are having a good understanding of how to set up the test environment but uh, there are many organizations for example you know different business domain for example banking etc wherein there is a separate test environment team which manages or which prepares the test environment and then developers deploy the code that needs to be tested on the test environment before handing over for the test execution so test environment setup phase has it, it's a it's a phase in the testing life cycle but as such in the tool perspective you don't need to do uh, anything as in the test environment setup phase as a tester so that is why there is nothing uh, available in the test environment setup in any of the tools so whether it's you know like test lodge or any other tool you, there is nothing specific phase which is part of the test environment setup when it comes to test execution so test execution is basically the test run in test lodge right so once your test suites and test cases are ready and categorized into test suite then you come to the test run and create the test run to start executing your test cases all right now in the test execution phase based on what all test cases have been executed in that particular phase in that particular test run what has passed failed etc then can be analyzed as part of the reporting and charts so if you go to the reports and charts in the test runs module of the test lab uh, test lodge you will see that you have predefined reports that are available that you can use within test lodge so this is the nothing but the last phase of the stlc which is test reporting and test closure phase and you have a separate reports module in test lodge to map to that particular uh, phase of the software testing life cycle right so these are some of the out of the box report that are available in test lodge so if you see closely with this software testing life cycle phases and how this test lodge tool correlates to these phases it is very simple to understand so the structure of test lodge is very well defined and can you know map you can very easily correlate the phases of software testing life cycle with this particular tool right so this is a brief about how you can work through stlc and map test lodge modules with the software testing life cycle now if you simply follow this life cycle and map the test law tool with that particular life cycle you will be very easily to very easily be able to manage your requirements test plan test suite and test runs and reporting within this particular tool and the whole point of me explaining and uh, explaining the stlc and then mapping it with test lodge is to uh, give you the overview of that relation between the life cycle testing life cycle and the test lodge tool right so this is a brief introduction of what all modules are available in test lodge and how these modules map back to the software testing life cycle in a broader sense so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll start with the actual requirement or some of the sample requirements that i'll be putting into the test lodge tool and then we'll work through different phases and how you can manage test plan test suite test runs and reports in test lodge tool hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching